Welcome everybody to Quicksilver. Thank you so much for joining us. It's always nice to have you here. I'm Ron Maestri. This is the game where three players compete for cash, prizes, and a wonderful vacation. These are the three players, Rod, Hillary, and David. Let's give them a hand. Good luck, you guys. Now here on Quicksilver, we give you answers, we give you questions, we just ask you to match them up for the points. You guys ready? Ready. ready. I think ready. so. Okay, let's start by showing you the first four answers. Lunar Lounge, Lug Greenfield Lounge, and Snake Lounge. Okay, here's your first question. Just keep in mind, sometimes they can be a little tricky. And remember, we're always looking for the answer that's closer than all the others. This place really has no atmosphere. Rod? Lunar Lounge. Lunar Lounge, right. Lunar has no atmosphere. It's in space. Good. You get 25 points for that answer, Rod. And every answer in this round is worth 25 points with no penalty for a wrong answer. This place is a real dive, Rod. Luganus's Lounge. That's right, Luganus Lounge, as in Greg Luganus the Diver, good. This place is located in His, Rod? Snake Lounge. Histanbul is Snake Lounge, right. Rod got all three of those answers. Okay, here's another four <laughs> answers coming up. Frost, Byron, Burns, and Chaucer. It's better than Choss, but not as... Hillary? Burns? No, not as good as Chaucest, Rod. Sure. Chaucer is right, good. This poet is... David? Frost? No. Hot Stuff, Hillary? Byron? No. Rod? Burns. Burns, right. Burns is Hot Stuff. How people say farewell. David? Byron. To me. Bye, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully they won't be saying farewell yet. We're not finished with the show. Okay, let's put up another four answers. Shrimp, anchovy, angelfish, and salmon. If you found it on a pizza, Rod? Salmon. No, it might have a halo, David. Shrimp. No. Oh. Hillary. Angelfish. Angelfish is right. <laughs> yourself, David, it's only a game. <laughs> when this fish goes before Dave, Rod? It's angelfish. Oh, he's a... Hillary? Shrimp? No, he's a classic R&B duo. David? Anchovy? No, Salmon Sam Dave. Salmon Dave. They had the hit song Soul Man. <laughs> Missed that one. Great song, I'm sure. <clears throat> he was featured in The Prawn Broker. Hillary? Shrimp? Shrimp is right. If shrimp is a prawn, you're right. Good. Here's another four answers. Yellow Bird. Puffin. Turtle Dove and ammonia bird. It's a shell with wings. Rod? Turtle dove. Turtle dove is right, good. Flies very slowly, too. This bird has a hard time breathing. Rod? Ammonia bird? No. Hillary? Puffin. Puffin is right, good. In the song, it precedes in a... Rod? Turtle dove? No, in a gilded cage, David. Yellow bird? No. Hillary. Ammonia bird? That's right. I'm only a bird. Ammonia bird. Good. Okay, here's another four answers coming up. <clears throat> Ballerina, concertina, and Argentina. I think we would say oak arena. It's a big place. David. Argentina? No, where you'd see an oak. Rod? Oak arena. Oak arena, right. Aren't you glad I clarified? <laughs> Avita Peron, David. Argentina. No, never became, Hillary. Ballerina. A professional one. She never became a professional ballerina. She works at the Hollywood Bowl. Hillary. Concertina? Concertina. Good, I knew her well. Very nice girl. Okay, here's another four answers coming up. Health, diet, nutrition, and razor blades. It's an improved version of the old trition. Rod? Nutrition. Nutrition, good. <laughs> Some people do this to hair. Rod? Diet. They diet. You're very good. Nobody here, I'm sure. A diet. Hillary. Health? No, for sword swallowers. Rod? Razor blades. Yeah, they're trying to cut back. <laughs> okay, that sound means it's the end of the round. Let's look at our scores. We have Rod in first place with 250. Hillary's in second with 50. And David's in third with 25. Okay, everybody's got bang of it. We'll get into round two where the point values double. And the game picks up pace right after this. Stay with us. Promotional consideration provided by...
Daisy's Hamburger Heaven with non-stick cooking service. Great for hamburgers or grilled sandwiches. Fully immersible. Dishwasher safe base from Daisy. If you'd liked up to 50% on your contact lenses, eyeglasses, and eye exams, call for a free Lens Express catalog and find out how you can start saving right away. When parents work, the kids should help out at home. My son does the dishes. He's great at it. I can always count on him to do them right away, before any food dries on. No matter who does the dishes, Cascade does the dirty work. Other leading brands can leave spots, so your dishes look dirty. Cascade with sheeting action gets them so clean, they're virtually spotless. Perfect. Thanks to Mr. Dependable here. Look, it's been hot. Maybe making money, losing money. A lot of stress. It's a little gamey in there. It's very hot. We asked some of the hottest guys in town to trade their deodorant for new degree deodorant. It's new. Body heat activated. I'll give it a shot. As your body heat rises, Degree releases extra protection when you need it most. I was amazed by it. It never let me down. Absolutely. Better than many trades I've made. Switch to the stick that's body heat activated. I'm not going back. Definitely improve the pits. It's sold. New Degree deodorant for a higher degree of protection. I joined Jenny Craig and I... Give it to him. He's a madman and he likes to play. <laughs> We're back to quick so much for joining us. We always have a lot of fun here. Rod, how you doing? Super, Ron. Good. Tell us about yourself. Well, right now I live in Dana Point, California, and really... That's a great area. It is. It's very beautiful. Sure. And my life is really centered around surfing right now. It, and play. Is that your board back there? Oh, no, I'm <laughs> It's a full... You know, it's interesting. Surfers, they just come in all ages, types, colors. Everybody's everybody. involved. Yeah, I mean, you see this 40-year-old guy out there with a surfboard, and he's a diehard. He's out there all the time. It's well, super. Good. Well, welcome to the show. Good luck to you. Hi, Hillary. Hi. Tell us about you. My name is Hillary, and I go to Southwestern University Law School, and in my spare time when I've got it, I play pool. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite game in pool? Um, cutthroat. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I'll bet. <laughs> I'll bet you're good at it, too. <laughs> I'm scared of you. Okay, welcome to the show. Hi, David. Hi, Tell I us about run. you. Well, I'm a flight attendant for a major international free time. When I'm not doing that on the sofa, watching Quicksilver. All right, good for you. So what's your, what's your most embarrassing moment on the airplane? Um, geez, I can't have to. I guess pulling out an ice drawer in front of 300 people and oh, having okay. ice go all over the... That would be embarrassing. Yeah. Well, welcome to the show. Good Thank luck you. to you. Everybody, this we put five answers on the board. Question will with a new one. So now the board is changing. Every correct answer you give us is now worth 50 points. And remember, one answer in this round is not on the board. So if you're looking and you don't see it in front of you, you just buzz in and shout out... Quicksilver. Quicksilver. Very good. That was in unison, too. Now, if you're right, you pick up 100 points. Now, keep in mind there are three Quicksilver answers in today's game. If you're the first one to correctly identify the Quicksilver answer, you'll win a toaster oven. It's DeLonghi's Fine Quality Bacon Broil Toaster Oven for healthy, delicious food preparation. A design that makes cooking a joy from DeLonghi's. Good. Okay, if everybody's ready, we start round two. Here come the answers. Europe. Foul ball. You're out. And remember when you don't see the answer to say Quicksilver. In baseball, David. Foul ball? No, it shouted at the next, Rod. You're out. No, at the next batter. You're up. <laughs> up at the next batter. I guess you're surfing. Okay, here's the new answer coming up. Mrs. America. She's married, Hillary. Antarctica. To Uncle Antarctica. Very good. Antarctica. Good. Sweet. Our new answer up is Lost at Sea. Cruise, a homesick U.S. citizen does this. David? Foul ball. Rod? In Mrs. America. Mrs. America, that's right. Very good. Our new answer up is education. I guess he could hit a foul ball, I'm not sure. <laughs> In learning the alphabet, it's someone who... Rod? A foul ball? No, D through Z. This is a great question. In learning the alphabet, it's someone who can't remember D through Z because he's lost at C. That's a good one. That is not a good question. Our new answer up is last rites. They're the final words spoken. Uh, Rod. You're out. Before the bouncer bounces your butt, you're out. Very good. Our new answer up is yeah. It's the final words spoken. Rod. Last. When you finish a telephone, David. Quicksilver. What's the answer? Goodbye. Is it goodbye? Goodbye. 
Don't leave yet, David. You got the points. The last word, final word spoken when you finish a telephone conversation. Goodbye. David, you've won the toaster oven. That's all yours. Now you picked up 100 points. You're now at 125. You're in third place. Rod is in first. You trail him by 225. The follow-up question is on the telephone. Now, in this part of the game, you can normally wager 200 points. In your case, you have 125, so that's the most you could wager. Keep in mind, though, it's a risk. How much would you like to wager? I'm going to go for all. 25. Yeah, David. Go for it, he says. <laughs> okay, you don't need to buzz in. The question's just for you. Only two letters never appear on a telephone dial. Name either of them. Q and... Q is fine. That's all we need. Just one of them. Q or Z is the other one. Good. You get 125 added to your score. You're now in second place with 250. And that answer changed to dollhouse for everybody. Constitutionally speaking, David? Preamble? No, their amendments, Rod. Last rights? Right. Nine and ten in the Bill of Rights. The last rights. Good. Very good. Our new answer is daylight saving. It's a plaything. Hillary? Dollhouse? No, for chickens. Rod? Education? No. David? Foul ball. Foul ball. Uh, a chicken yeah. is foul. Yeah. Foul ball is a plaything. The <laughs> new answer up is Pennsylvania Avenue. The White House. David? Dollhouse? Dollhouse is right. Good. That's one way of referring to it. Our new answer up is Renaissance. It's the time before... Hillary? Preamble? Taking a stroll. Preamble, right? Very, very good. Okay, that signal means it's the end of the round, and we have a very good game going here. Rod, you're in first place with 400 points, and Hillary and David are both tied for second, each with 300. Okay, we'll take a break. There's only one. We'll find out who it is and who's going to go for that dream vacation right after this. Stay with us. Promotional consideration provided by... Dissolve it for gum stickers, soaps, located in the specialty cleaning section of your favorite store. Dissolve it. Doesn't flushes chlorine clear tablet. Helps bleach away stains in your four months. 2,000 flushes chlorine clear tablet. Hey, MCI customers. Now MCI advertises 40% savings with friends and family too basic, but the average savings on your MCI bill is only 13%. Must be MCI. We're back to Quicksilver. Thank you so much for joining us. We're now into round three, everybody. This is the home stretch. We play this round in two parts. In the first part, I'll ask you the question. You give us the answer. Right, the answer will appear on the board, and 75 points appears on your score. And then we use those answers for part two of this round, okay? Good luck, everybody. These scores are very, very close, so it's anybody's game. Medical term for the change of blood from... Rod, transfusion. From one person to another is a transfusion. Good. Instead of a noun, like... Hillary? Verb? No, like he, she, Rod. A pronoun. Or they. A pronoun is right. Very good. A cigar-shaped submarine explosive. David? A torpedo. That's also slang for a hitman. A torpedo. <laughs> Type of doctor who performs operations like facelifts. Hillary? Plastic surgeon. Nose jobs and breast implants. Plastic surgeon. <laughs> Michael Jackson knows all about that. <laughs> this man sews suits for a living. Rod. Taylor. Taylor is right. Good. The state bird of New Jersey and a St. Louis baseball team. Rod. A cardinal. Cardinal. Good. <laughs> Document that protects the rights to an invention. David. Uh, the um, patent. Patent is right. Good. An expressionless stare or a piece of... Rod. Blank. Piece of paper with nothing on it is a blank. Very good. <laughs> Rod is happy. Okay, we now have eight answers up on the board. Let's look at our scores. Rod, you're in first place with 775. David's in second with 450. And Hillary's in third with 375. Okay, we're going to ask you a brand new set of questions. This is the last part of the game. The answers are the ones that you've just put up there. New questions. Every time you give me a correct answer, you pick up 100 points. And remember, there are now two Quicksilver answers remaining. If you identify the Quicksilver answer, you pick up 200 points and you'll have an opportunity to wager up to 400 points. So potentially, a Quicksilver could get you 600 points. So as you can see, it's anybody's game. Now, we've already given away the toaster oven to David, so there's no prize in play, just points for the Quicksilver. Okay, good luck, everybody. If you break your Barbie, you might need this, David. A plastic surgeon. You might need this specialist, a plastic surgeon. Good. My Barbie's I've broke. My Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> a gun. 
Dip rod. Ooh, a torpedo. No, used in a movie uses this harmless type of shot. David. A blank. A blank is right, good. It's the opposite of an amateur verb. David. A pronoun. Pro-noun, good. A seashell. Oh, definitely a play on words. A seashell is a torpedo. A shell, a torpedo is referred to as a shell. It's in the sea, a seashell. <laughs> Rod, I feel like I have to really explain this <laughs> to you. You have this on look on your face. <laughs> definitely. This bird, Rod? Cardinal. No, was a great basketball player for the... Hillary? Larry Bird? No, for the Boston Celtics. Rod can't buzz in. Well, Hillary gave you guys the answer, only you needed to say Quicksilver oh. first. Larry Bird is the answer. Nobody gets the points. This famous James, David? Taylor. No, was an Old West outlaw. Rod. Quicksilver. What's the answer? Jesse James. Is it Jesse James? Yes, it is. Very good. Rod, you picked up 200 points. You're now at 975. David is in second place with 750. You are ahead of David by 225. The follow-up question is on the Old West. You can wager up to 400. What do you think? 400. You're going to go for it. Bet it all. Go for it. He's a gambling man. <laughs> yeah. From 1860 to 1861, the Pony Express carried mail from a Missouri city to a California city. Name either city. San Francisco. Uh, good guess. It's the wrong answer. I'm sorry. It's Sacramento, California, or St. Joseph, Missouri. It cost you 400 points. Everybody plays now for 100. <coughs> leather with a glossy finish. David. Patent. Patent leather is right. Good. What you get when you cross a nuclear physicist, Rod? A transfusion. With a hypnotist. A transfusion. You're right. That's the end of the game. David, you win it. 850 points. Good job. Very well done. Thank you very much. Rod, it was that Quicksilver that That's killed right. you. Thank you so much. You were a great player. We have a great Thank prize you. for both you and Hillary. Let's give him a hand for being here. Thank you both. David, you've already won the toaster oven. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. We're cruising at an altitude of 30,000 feet. And uh, we'll see if he wins that vacation right after this. Stay with us. Promotional consideration provided by... I can't believe it's not butter is the first spread flavored with sweet cream buttermilk for a fresh butter taste. I can't believe it's not butter. It's the taste you love without the cholesterol. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the animated masterpiece that has become a world treasure for all generations. Someday has finally... We're back to Quicksilver with today's big winner, David Lassiter, did very, very well. Well, I think you lucked out on his Quicksilver wager when he bet I, it all, and that yeah. was it. That just it puts you right on the lead. Well, you did very well. Break. That's how the game is played. David, for getting this far, you've won his and hers cameras <laughs> from Vivitar, the innovative 440p Z camera with built-in 38 to 78 millimeter power zoom lens and sophisticated electronic flash for beautiful pictures from scenics to portraits from Vivitar. Right, that'll be nice. Yeah. Okay, David, this part of the game, we call it Silver Streak. I'm going to show you 15 answers. You'll have 45 seconds to match 10 of them with the right question. Every time you give me a correct answer, you pick up $50 cash. Remember, you can pass as often as you like, and we'll just come back to those questions at the end. If you match 10 answers correctly in 45 seconds or less, you've got $500 cash and a trip to a Colorado Dude Ranch. It's the Wits End Guest Ranch and Resort, founded in 1860. This 375-acre resort near Durango offers luxury cabins, elegant dining, wilderness trips, horses, tennis, swimming, hot tubs, and 14,000 foot peaks from the Wits End. You know, I was wondering, what kind of a trip can we give a flight attendant that he would really want to use? And that's definitely a wonderful trip. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at our Silver Streak answers. Today's theme is florist <laughs> terms. Water, plant, bouquet, deliver, arrange, vase, petals, garland, spread, cut, stem, flowers, Teleflorist, corsage, and tie off. Okay, take a good look at those. Let's put 45 seconds on the clock, please. Good luck, David. They make bicycles go. Pedals. Yes, where cattle graze. Spread. No, Liza Minnelli's mom. Garland. Yes, butter or margarine. Spread. Yes, without neckwear. Pass. 
Stop the camera. Cut. Yes, to bury seeds. Plant. No, yes, to spread gossip with a flower seller. Pass. President's former friend, Jennifer. Flowers. Yes, you get it from a corsuse. Corsage. Yes, comes before to stern. Stem. Yes, it's right below your forehead. Oh, vase is right before your forehead. You got $400, you got eight out of the 10. Good. Where cattle graze, arrange, uh, without neckwear is tie off. And to spread gossip with a flower seller is teller florist. Listen, you got the $400 cash, the cameras, the toaster oven. You did very well, David. Thank you, Thank you very much. Good, I'm glad you had fun. Listen, it's always a pleasure to have you here with us on Quicksilver. Join us again next time, won't you? Until then, I'm Ron Maestri. Bye-bye, everybody. It's rowdy, it's raucous, it's outrageous wrestling action on WWF Monday Night Raw, tonight at 9. Quicksilver is a...